Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do something that I would never imagine that I would do. Uh, that is, I'm going to recommend to you uh, a walk with nonstick coding. Uh, as most of you probably have known from my previous video, th that I am a strong supporter uh, for walk with natural surfaces. I do not see any reason to purchase walk with nonstick coatings uh, because you can season a walk with uh, natural surfaces such as a carbon steel, cast iron, or standard steel walk uh, using my spot seasoning method uh, to create a surface of uh, nonstick. And this will allow you to cook, uh, for example, uh, an egg dish or fry an egg without having them to stick to the surface of the wok. As I have mentioned in previous videos, uh, there are many advantages of having a wok with natural surface. Uh, first and foremost is that you don't have to worry about uh, the non-stick coating to peel off. And secondly, they are almost non-destructible and you can use any uh, stirring uh, apparatus that you would like. Uh, personally, I really enjoy using my stainless steel wok spatula, and I think just the ability to be able to use that is just worthwhile uh, for me to have a wok that with natural surface. Uh, several years ago, I met uh, one of the students in my cooking class. Uh, her name is Mary. Uh, she is in her 80s. And she told me that she uh, is uncomfortable to cook with high heat. And she would like to uh, use a wok with non-stick coating because she doesn't have to worry about food uh, from sticking to the surface of the wok. And when my friend Dan adopted my fast cooking system, uh, he was very in line with uh, most of my suggestion except the wok. He told me that he will stick with his wok with non-stick coating because he do not want to have a wok that is difficult for him to clean. And it turned out to be that he was very happy with his uh, wok with non-stick coating. And it slowly started to change my mind. And then I realized that maybe for some individuals, a wok with non-stick coating uh, might be their best choice. And recently, a uh, two events uh, had changed my mind. The first one is that I read an article uh, about uh, some of the common mistakes that people make uh, end up ruining their cookware with non-stick coating. As some of the recommendations are common sense, while the others are less obvious. I'm going to go through each one of them and point out to you why I think some recommendations is worthwhile for us to take notice. And number one is uh, never use metal utensils. That obviously is the case because that will scratch the non-stick coating. And number two, never preheat while empty. Now this is definitely not the case of when you use cooking utensils with natural surface because you always preheat them before you add cooking oil. And number three, never use non-stick cooking sprays. Now this is something new to me. Uh, according to the author, is that there are additives in the cooking spray uh, that would damage the non-stick cook surface. And number four, uh, never use it for high heat cooking. Now that obviously is a contradiction to stir frying, which always recommended that you stir fry in high heat. And number five, never pay too much. Now that seems to be counterintuitive. Uh, because most of us will think the more you pay for a non-stick cookware, the more durable it's going to be. But according to the author, it turned out to be that they're very different uh, between the price and the quality of the cookware. In fact, uh, your durability of your non-stick cookware depends on how you care for them and not because of their price. And number six, uh, never rinse your non-stick cookware with cold water, particularly after you uh, remove it from the stove, uh, because she suggests that uh, extreme temperature uh, can cause damage to the non-stick cook surface. And number seven, uh, never wash in this washer. And it is suggested that the uh, dishwashing detergent, as well as the repeat uh, cycling 
of the washing machine and will cause damage to the non-stick cook surface. And number eight, I never use it for food storage. Uh, again, the article suggests that particularly uh, when you store acidic food or leave acidic food uh, in the cookware for a prolonged period of time, uh, this including particularly like a spaghetti sauce. And number nine, uh, never stack uh, non-stick cookware atop each, each other uh, because this will cause scratching. And that makes a lot of sense. As I have mentioned in the beginning, uh, of these nine recommendations, uh, some of them uh, are very obvious. That's something we should uh, uh, take care of. But the others seem to be rather counterintuitive. But after she explained it, it made a lot of sense to me. Even though I might not be fully convinced, they are the, the key factors that will cause damage to the non-stick cookware. But those precautions seem reasonable to me. And for your further reading, I will post the link of this article in the notes section below. The second event that uh, changed my mind about non-stick cookware is that uh, this week I noticed that there is a non-stick wok on sale at Audi uh, under the brand Crofton, which is Audi's house brand. This is a 14-inch carbon steel wok with non-stick coating. And the amazing thing about this wok is that uh, it costs only $12.99. I was uh, curious of what this wok is like. Uh, so when I at Audi this week, I went and take a look at it. When I pick it up, I was surprised at uh, the construction of the wok is excellent. Uh, this is a 14 inch wok. It has a single handle. And on the other side of the wok, it has what is known as a helper handle. And the wok is made from heavy-duty carbon steel, but the wok is coated with a non-stick coating uh, in the inside as well as on the outside of the wok. And the non-stick coating appears to be excellent, and it's uh, as comparable as to many other woks that are uh, multiple times more expensive than this one. The wok weighs about 3 pounds 14 ounces, which is comparable to many other carbon steel woks on the market. So I decided I'm going to cook a few things in this wok to see how it works. The first thing I did is that I washed the wok with some cold water. I don't even need to use soap because the wok is very clean and it washed really nicely. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fry some eggs in the wok because that's the best way to test the non-stick property of this wok. As you can see, the egg glides freely on the surface of the wok and it works truly great. I use only a very small of cooking oil and on top of that, uh, I add the oil uh, at the same time as I turn on the stove so I do not preheat the wok. And secondly, is that I do not heat up the oil uh, to its smoking point. And the egg turned out very well. And as you can see, the edge of the egg uh, is uh, well uh, burned. Uh, so uh, it indicated that it is hard enough uh, to fry an egg, uh, to at least to the degree how I like the texture going to be. And next, uh, without washing the wok, or adding any more oil, uh, I decided I'm going to make an egg omelette. I make a cheese and spinach omelette. Uh, I'm using a flat glass top electric range. Uh, I can adjust the heat quite precisely, and I keep the setting of the stove at about uh, medium. Uh, normally, when I use my Cusina uh, 14 inch stainless steel wok, I would have set the heat setting to high. Now, at the medium heat setting, it uh, took a little bit longer uh, to cook the egg omelette than as I normally would when I have the heat setting at high. But nevertheless, it works well. As you can see, the egg omelette have no problem and it also uh, burn and char uh, in a way that I would like it to. Uh, as uh, recommended, uh, I use a silicone wok spatula. Now, I obviously like my stainless steel wok spatula better, but the silicone wok spatula uh, does the job without any problem. And of course, uh, 
nothing stick to the surface of the wok at all. So washing it really simple and straightforward. It takes a matter of seconds. And I can see why people like to have a wok with non-stick coating. And based on the result, after I have washed the wok, uh, actually I'm quite comfortable uh, if I follow the nine steps as recommended in that article. I probably can keep the non-stick coating of this wok in good condition for a long time. And for $12.99, <laughs> I believe that I could not go wrong uh, by buying this wok. But so far, uh, based on making the egg omelette as well as frying the eggs, I'm really quite confident this wok will work very well for some people who would like to cook in relatively low heat and uh, who are willing to uh, be careful and uh, pay attention how to maintain this wok. So right after I did this testing, I contacted Mary and I told her that she should go out to Audi and pick up this wok as soon as she can. I think this might be the solution uh, she has been looking for. So I will make the same recommendation to you if you are looking for a wok with non-stick coating, uh, this might be a good alternative. Uh, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun, uh, so that uh, home cooking could be part of your daily routine. Now, uh, if you like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.